Sprouts, it's me, your favorite baby bobble onion. And guess what I got for Black Friday? I got the King Size Addy Express Knitting Machine. And these are all the things that came with it. I am so happy I got this. I've been having my eye on it for a while now. And one of the, the only shop that I went to was a local um, yarn shop near my house. Um, the one that I always rant and rave about. I went there and she had it on discount for Black Friday. So I had to crank me out a couple of hats while I was making it. And you know what? I was like, I want to make a cardigan. So that's what this video is all about. I got two big skeins of this Karen Jumbo cake and let's get started. So this is my first knitting machine. I've worked with knitting machines before, but I never had one of my own. So I was really excited to be able to work on my own Addy and have it in my house and be able to use it whenever I want to. Um, I really enjoyed making this cardigan, even though it kind of kicked my behind making it. Um, you can already see in the first few shots that I definitely did a big old mess up in the back, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, it was really fun having something to come home to and having a project to work on. I really am one of those people that like to like focus in on something and really get into a groove of doing something. And with this, it was really easy to get into the groove of doing it. So I really enjoyed the process of making it now we got it sp sped up a little bit because we don't want this video to be 20,000 years long and I just wanted to try something new I'm always used to crocheting cardigans and crocheting you if you see my other video of my fall and winter crochet fashion then you have seen that I know how to make a cardigan <laughs> okay I don't want you to get to the end of this video and doubt my skills if you need a refresher of my skills go back and watch that video so as you can see I'm just really going in with this this is double time speed and I wanted to give you guys a little like ASMR moment so you're gonna have little sections in here where you can hear me cranking away at this cardigan so here comes one <laughs> I'm only on 79 rows. This is going to take forever. <laughs> and it surely dearly did take forever, but we'll get to that at a later point. Actually, we'll talk about it right now. It took me like a month <laughs> to make this. Later in the video, I'm going to say like, oh, I want to get this done like tonight. Like I'm going to sew together all the pieces tonight. Yeah, did I do that? Definitely not. I have been so tired lately and so like my seasonal depression is like kicking my butt so I'm hoping like this like I said earlier that this gave me like a project to focus on and I'm hoping that this will give you something to like listen to in the background while you're doing stuff or just give you something to like oh yeah and my shoulder was like killing me I was like this is the quickest way to get tendonitis again but <laughs> just give you something to like put on in the background while you're doing cleaning or laundry and stuff and see me making a silly face at you while you're getting your Christmas gifts all together. 
I messed up really bad and now I'm gonna have to start this all over. Take skill to do this. <laughs> Uh, and plus I made a, I dropped a whole bunch of stitches at the very beginning so yeah we'll try again I got to 156 rows and I was like oh gosh okay we're gonna try again <sighs> so I had to start casting off and casting off is literally like this is not the correct way to cast off at all um, I'm just like ripping it out at this point. That's what I'm doing. Um, you're supposed to cast off, which I do an another part of this, that you do it with your needle that I'm grabbing right now. And you take them off the little hookies to get them off the hook to not make it together anymore. So, um, I did this. I'm so bad at this. Like... <laughs> Like, it's so bad how slow it takes me to do this. Like, when I actually do it correctly later on, it took me eight minutes, okay? It took me forever. I did not think I was a slow person, but apparently I am. I got her out. I got her out. This is my first panel that I've ever made. This is my first one. So, I'm pretty proud of my panel, you know? I'm gonna be, like... I'm trying to make a cardigan, if I didn't tell you guys in the voiceover. I'm trying to make a cardigan. I think I'm gonna make... I think I'm gonna make the sleeves next, just because I know how to make tubes. So I'm gonna make two long behind tubes. And I'll come back to making the panels. I think I'm gonna double up. I think I'm gonna make four tubes. I'm gonna make two tubes as the sleeves. And then I'm gonna make two tubes as the front panels just to have like an extra thickness on the front. And then I'm gonna make two panels for the back panel, sew them together, and then sew it all together. Oh my God, sew it all together so that it can be a cardigan. So hopefully, hopefully it'll get done at some period in time. <laughs> I really wanted to get this project done before Christmas, which I am so proud of myself for getting it done before Christmas even though it took way longer than I thought it was going to take but you know sometimes projects be like that and you just gotta take it however you take it and this project definitely had me going up and down but I love to crochet I love to knit and this is what makes me happy it makes me relaxed it makes me like be able to organize my thoughts because usually while I'm knitting and crocheting if it's a really easy stitch I'm usually thinking about something else or like getting my thoughts together on what I want to do it's a really great creative outlet for me to be able to make something and to be able to wear something like how many times do you get to make something and wear something in your life that you made with your own two handsies or with your hand and a crank crank a yank so, I am really glad that I learned how to do this when I was 12 years old, and it's really important to pick up hobbies that you can learn to be creatively outletting to your soul, because we all need a creative outlet. Whether you're a logical person or you're a creative person, whether you're a right side brain person or a left side brain person, which like, they kind of exist, but they kind of don't exist. You're still going to use both sides of your brain. And you need that little extra outlet, that little extra kick of creative juice to have that je ne sais quoi, to have that extra edge, you know? We can't all be one side of one equation, you know? So, um, I hope you find a hobby. Or if you do have a hobby, please put it down in the comments below. Uh, let me know what hobby you like to do and I don't really make money from doing crochet and knitting I always get told that I could and I'm casting off right now just in, just in case you were wondering um, the correct way this time uh, but I always get asked like oh you should sell that oh you should make something oh you should get an Etsy blah 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 and I've just 
never really I've thought about it like I have my Depop if you want to go check out my Depop it's in the description but my Depop is basically just all the clothes that I've thrift thrifted over the years or some of my mom's clothes are on there now or some of my baby cousin's clothes are on there now so it's clothes like that not really a lot of things that I've made uh, like I said in the fall and winter video I am really hard on myself I am a perfectionist when it comes to things that I do so um when I mess up on a project I'm like oh yeah no like that can't go anywhere that has to stay right here with me in my little shame hole and that's my beautiful sleeve that's gonna be attached to this cardigan and thankfully it's long enough god because wolf if it was not long enough I would crick. So I'm just stretching it out right here, just making sure that's a thing that you have to do apparently is stretch it out. And then I'm showing you here that it fits all the way to my fingies. And then I'm going to scrunch up that end next to my wrist so that it can be all like Bishop B sleeved. I think that's the correct terminology. And it was really easy to do. All I did was pull on the bottom string. And this yarn kept getting all tangled up and mangled up and everything because I had two different skeins going at two different times and I was just pulling, pulling, pulling. And then of course Marvel loves the yarn, loves the yarn. So she was going crazy while I was undoing all these knots and tangles. But like I was saying before, um, I kind of just do this for my own benefit to make my own clothes. Um, I don't really sell anything. I like to give them away as gifts um, to my friends and family because then I know that they will take care of it and they will not care as much that it's messed up. But I don't know. Maybe when I get better and get more professional at it, I will sell some more stuff. But for right now, I just really like enjoying it and doing it for the sake of the craft and not for the money because capitalism doesn't have to rule every facet of my life. <laughs> I can do stuff just for me and it doesn't always have to be for money making problems, you know? Like I can have fun with my cat just for me and not have to make money off of it. So those are the two sleeves that I made. That's the long front panel I was talking about making. Don't look at those. Don't look at those. There's my little Lily being so sweet. And then she gets a pet and... She ran away. I don't remember if this was the next day, the day after, but this is day two of making this cardigan. We are having a grand old time. We are having oh our tintin buns. Our mom is here. I forgot to mention that I am not using a pattern. I am like a dude who's not taking directions yet. So I am taking it easy, trying to finish the cardigan as fast as possible without stressing myself out and making myself go absolutely bonkers. But thankfully, I didn't have a timeline for this, nor a deadline, just a self-imposed deadline, which is always good to have, you know? It's a good practice in time management, creativity, and humility. So, since I already have you guys here, um, I'm crocheting the ends of this long panel so that it won't be a pan- oh, a tube anymore, it'll be just- a panel and yeah it's been a wild time making this cardigan it has been a learning curve definitely like the hats that I made on the knitting machine I just pooped them out like it was just like bam 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 like I was just like tube 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 I guess what people won't what people haven't been talking about because I've been looking up different things on like ticky talky and stuff like quick things of how to learn how to use it or how to learn how to do this or how to learn how to do that 
girl. What they don't tell you is that the Addy, at least my Addy, I can only speak for myself. My Addy only likes doing tubes. She don't like doing panels, okay? Don't force the Addy to do the panel because she hates it. <laughs> All right. The panel it goes a lot slower, uh, progresses a lot slower, and it gets messed up way easier than the tube, okay? That, I just did the last panel, and I told you guys in the beginning that I was going to do two panels for the back. No, I cannot be bothered. I cannot be bothered, okay? No. I'm, if I'm trying to make this before the week is done, like this video, and I'm trying to make this card again before the week is done, ain't no way I'm making another panel. Um, yeah. No. Uh, it just kept dropping stitches over and over again and i'd like try to figure out like why and to be like okay like let's not do that no a everything that i tried like pulling the yarn tighter or like making sure like going slower or making sure to make sure it's uh like taut whenever i pull it through None of it worked, okay? None of it worked. I went through the, like, I thought it was working, and then I, like, undid it. I took it off. I cast it off of the machine, and it literally, like, I had, let me just show y'all. No, I put it on. My dog's wearing it right now, <laughs> so I can't show you guys, but it's over. No, actually, it's right here. Okay. This is the, the panel, not the tube literally where's the end i literally got to the end and then i found this so that's why i'm holding it onto right here because this is the little this is where it start, starts so i don't want it to just all the way down y'all pray for me send me good good vibes whatever y'all can send through the ether to me I would greatly appreciate it, but I already went ahead and, and finished off the hems so that I can sew it all together. And that's going to be my goal today is to sew all of these parts together. <sighs> this is the worst part. I hate assembly, but if you don't assemble the things, then it's just going to be four tubes in a panel <laughs> forever and you can't wear that. You just cannot. That's not how life works. So, also, I want to give a disclaimer. Um, <laughs> a more of a silly disclaimer. Just because I crochet doesn't mean I'm a trad wife. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>
the sleeves work the front panels work <laughs> at this stage it's like okay y'all I don't know if this is gonna happen but we continue to push okay we continue to push This this is this is what we have. So like the sleeves are good, the front panels are good, kinda. There's mistakes everywhere, but the sleeves are great. The sleeves are my favorite part. <laughs> It looks, it looks fine from here. Like it looks great from here, except for like here, don't look there. But like, you see, it looks great. Until you get to <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't see how these girlies are making stuff from the Addy with one panel. Cause this is one panel with extra on the sides. So, confusion. Uh, that's my family downstairs in the kitchen making a lot of noise. Cause it's like nine o'clock at night. So, see if I could just wear it like this. It's great. Lots of noise. Love it. What is, what is, they're just gonna make it, they just gonna keep making noise. Sleeves, perfect. Front panel, great. Back panel, what to heck. But somewhere within the clanging of the pots and pans, I heard a voice tell me, no, Onion. You shall not do whatever you just said you are going to do. You shall unravel the panels only just a little bit. So I decided that I was going to unravel the bottom of the front two panels and crochet the bottoms. So to cut it off. It's I think that's my new favorite um, Naruto um, theme song. If you know it, hype it up in the comments below. Um, so I decided to do that instead of completely just annihilating those tubes. I was like, you know what? We can salvage this. And I actually put down that project and would not take a look at it for about two weeks after this day and then we move on to our next clip which is a clip of triumph pure joy <laughs> you guys i did it ignore my clothes but i did it i did it. <laughs> i finally finished it i finally put it all together oh it looks janky i have not put it in the washer Ignore this, I got home from work and I put on a onesie. Okay, okay. Uh, I did it. I did it, you guys. I finally, finally, you don't even know how long this has taken me to make. And it's actually horrid. <laughs> but it's done. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out something to do with this because it's made now, so I have to wear it. I might, I was thinking about like making it into a dress, like a really tight dress, but I don't know. But it's done. It's done. Oots, 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 it's done. It's done. It's, it's, it's done. What would I say? about this cardigan so 
it has a lot of mistakes. Uh, the easiest part was the sleeves. The sleeves, I'm definitely going to make sleeves like this forever and always. The sleeves were so simple. They're just tubes and then I just scrunched them up at the ends so that they would be scrunchy. The worst part was the back panel. Oh, I hate it. It took me, it, the, the, my, the Addy does not like panels at all. So the back panel was horrible absolutely atrocious i should have made two back panels so they'll be wider and not so tight but i thought since i'm such a small girl i'm such a tiny girl that i wouldn't have to do that i also should have made these front panels like these are tubes that i just sewed together at the bottom was that a good idea i don't know but that's what i did all right i actually did it I can't believe I did it. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. This was a long time coming. I hope you liked this video. Um, I hope you join us for the next video. Um, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe down below for a new video on Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right, Ruby? Yeah! And... <laughs> I hope you're having a blessed one. And if you don't want to have a blessed one, have a have a warm fireball liquor lit one. Only if you're legal. Don't have one if you're not legal. I'm watching you. Have some apple cider, you crazy kids. All right. I'm out. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.